say, so This Is Great Atlantic came out in mid-2007 and you know we had uh, probably about 20 songs that we were culling from to hit the record and we just put a lot of work into making the songs sound exactly how we wanted them to. So I guess we put a bit of pressure on ourselves to kind of turn around after that and, and try and make the next one pretty quickly. The biggest pressure of course is having good songs and I, I felt like after the last record I thought to myself, I don't know if I can actually do any better than this, I don't know if I can write better songs. It, it, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I think I went through the stages of grief there for a while. Well, but, you think uh, you'll never write a good song ever again. Yeah, you know, I think all songwriters go through that. And then I guess as I started to write, you know, I sort of found that I was really happy with the songs. It was a much quicker process this time round. We wanted it to be a bit more gritty and a bit more real and, and just sort of leave a few things open ended. These are the times. I think we went into making this record feeling a lot more confident in our abilities and I think from that perspective on the last one where it was a situation where we kind of had it worked out every detail prior to going in the studio, this one we trusted ourselves a lot more and there were, there were a lot more things that were kind of just left to the moment when we were recording and going and just going with wherever it was going at the time. The whole idea of recording both times has just been really to serve the yeah. song yeah. and say, okay, what does this song need? And not try to go stick the square peg in the round hole and say, we want some saxophone. Well, we wouldn't want saxophone, but <laughs> you know, we want some particular instrument on this maybe track. So maybe it's it's it, if it's right for the Kenny song, Kenny G was, was uh, playing well, it. He then. wasn't in town that, that week. <laughs> I was thinking um, like Jerry Rafferty, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. But um, yeah, but so you know, look, it, it's just about making good music and doing it, doing what comes out. record the album in a much shorter space of time and, and have a bit of grit left on it and uh, just be a bit more, have, have more immediacy to the songs and so the uh, the guitar parts, like there, there's some guitar solos on the record. They're more like a gig for Yeah, that's right. Like it's not a, not a wank solo. It's fine. <laughs> well, just more like passages where the guitar takes the full song. Yeah. Life is, um, you know, I don't want to use too many cliches, but gee, it's a strange parade sometimes. And, you know, you go through, I've been through a lot of crap in the last five years, and I think that's kind of where the record's at, is just how do you get from Monday to Friday? You know, that's that's how, that's how what life is about. And uh, so I think because, you know, I'd like to be, I'd like life to be easy, but it's not. And I think those, subjects come through and I think in terms of the music even there's a lot more I think there's a lot, a lot more angst in the new record because I think just the world rubs off on you you know and I think that's what this record's about